Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at Microsoft Excel's write function. Um, this is one of those basic Excel functions that is really useful, so well worth knowing. Um, if you do find this useful, please do click on the like button, consider subscribing, it really helps the channel out massively. Um, and with all that said, let's jump on over to Excel. Right, so this is going to be uh, quite a quick tutorial. Um, it's, as I said before, it's quite a basic function. Um, in this example, what we're going to do is be looking at extracting the surname from a um, full name text string. Um, and that's where the write um, function really does come in handy. So what we're going to do is just click on equals and type the word write into um, Excel and open up a bracket. There are two main parts to this function. The first is the text string itself, and then the second part is the number of characters from that text string that you'd like to return, um, starting from the rightmost position. Um, so what we're going to do is click on the full name as our text string, press comma, and count the number of characters within that surname that we'd like to return. So in this case, it is five, and close bracket, press return. Now that there basically now has brought back the surname of our text string full name. Um, the problem that we have is when we start to pull this down, if any of these surnames is uh, longer than five characters, then this formula starts to break. So we'd want to actually do is calculate out the start position of our um, last name, our surname, and then count the characters from there. So the easiest way to do this is to um, take a dynamic approach to the function. So what we want to do is actually use the find function to find the second um, space within our full name. So what we're going to do is equal find. And I'm just going to type this out over here so we can look at the function independently of the, the right function for a second. We're going to be looking for a space within the text um, full name here um, and we're going to close that off and press enter, right? So in this example here, we can see that the very first space we have in our full name is the ninth character in that text string. Okay, so what we want to do is actually plus one. Okay, so that now gets us number 10. Number 10 is the starting position of our middle name. From here, we can then wrap this in another find function that then uses this find as the start position and that will allow us to find the second um, space within the, the name. Um, and so what I mean by that is if we go equals find, we're looking for a space and um, we're looking for that space within our text string here and our start position which is the third part of this function is the original find that we just wrote out. Um, so if I press um, return on that we can see that 14 returns the position of the second space. Okay, um, so what we have to do here to write this out properly um, for a, a third time here is equals find. Uh, we're looking for the space within our text and the number of characters is a find. Find the space within the text here. Um, And then we want to plus one like we did before because we don't want to um, return it's a plus one and um, we don't want to return the uh, the space itself because if your starting position is what you're looking for you're only ever going to return the, the starting position um, we want to be looking for uh, any space after the original space that has been found okay um, and then close that off press enter that shows 14 okay so this first function here finds the very first space within our full name. This function shows us the, or oh, well, this one, shows us the um, second space within the full name. And then what you have to do in order to return the number of characters that you're looking for from the right is now count the total number of characters in your text string minus this. Okay, so if we use the equals len, which the len function, all it does is counts the number of characters in a text string, so it only has one part. Um, so total length is 19, and that last um, 
space is 14, the difference uh, is the length of the characters. So what we end up doing is just within this function here, um, typing in len of this minus the original, which gives us the five, um, which is the length of the surname. Okay, now that's quite a lot going on there, um, but it is quite basic. So I can write that out within the right formula in a moment. Um, that gets you the understanding of how that works, okay? Um, so, we're going to open up this here, and we're going to go equals right, okay? The text that we would like to bring the, uh, to you extract from is the very first part that we're using. And then the second part of the right formula is number of characters from the most right position. Okay, in order to get this, we're going to start by typing len. So we want the length of our text character, uh, of our text string, okay? And we want to minus the find a space within our text string, okay? A comma um, gets us the start position of that find, which is the first find of the um, very first space within the text string, okay? Um, that one there. Um, and then we close that one off and we go plus one because we want to um, the start position to be the J in this scenario, not the actual space. Um, and then close that one off and press return and let Excel figure out if you've missed any parentheses that I have in this case. Um, it should not have done that, did I? Oh, I've multiplied rather than minus. That's my bad, I meant minus. Uh, and there we go. So if we just dissect this down a little bit, our right formula is the text string that we're trying to dissect, and then our length of our text string minus the um, finding of the second space within that text string. Um, I'm probably not explaining this as well as I need to, and apologies for that. Um, it is quite basic when you start to dissect each part down. Um, so as I wrote this out here, um, for example, you want to be looking at the length of the character, uh, the length of the text string, minus the position of the second space that we have in our text string. Now this example can be used across the board for anything that has a delimiter of some kind. Okay, so in this example, I've delimited this text string, if you will, by spaces um, rather than like underscores or tabs or anything like that. Um, and there are other ways you can do this. In this example here where um, we're trying to extract the first, the middle, and the last name, I could just grab these, copy them down here for a second, and actually just go over to the data tab and go text to columns, delimited, next, go to other and actually put a space in there and just click finish. Now that's automatically just done it for me anyway. Um, there are many ways you can approach each um, scenario and no one way is right and no one way is wrong. You've got to find whichever way works for you. Um, for me personally, I tend to lean more towards using formulas than doing things like this because um, when you have a formula that's fully dynamic, you are able to manipulate data a lot more efficiently than you are if you're going to try and use some of these functions which rely on you physically manually doing something within Excel. Um, but hopefully you guys found this useful. If you need me to cover anything off in more detail or I want more specifics around it, sort of drop some notes in the comments below um, and I'll try to recover them um, in uh, future videos and try to maybe help out in the comment sections as well, just to kind of get across how these functions work. Um, but hopefully guys, you did find this useful. If you did, please tap the like button, hit subscribe. Um, as I said before, it helps the channel out massively. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.